boy I'm from the place where the police be the plug Good day people Welcome back to my YouTube channel My name is Rich Kwan for those who are new Hi, how are you? Um, uh, yeah <laughs> So for today's video it's going to be a makeup look type of video I'm going to be doing a cut crease and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a cut crease So if you guys hear noise, this house is so loud and there's so many people in the house out of the moment because it's Sunday and I thought I should film on Sunday. Damn idea. I know. I'm going to start by doing my eyebrows. I'll do my eyebrows real quick. I will not explain. Maybe if you guys want an in-depth on how I do my eyebrows, I'll definitely link it down below. Link it down. I'll definitely shoot a video. I have tried to shoot some videos about uh, my eyebrows and all that, but... I get to the end and I'm like, I don't like it. It's fucking disgusting. So, I'm just using an eyebrow pencil. I'm going to do it real quick, real fast. And for today's eyebrow, I'm not going to drag it all the way down where my normal eyebrow ends because um, we're doing a cut crease and I want to enlarge my eyes as much as I can, like my eye space. To create the same look I did on this, some other time, I just had my hair and I pulled it behind and I tucked it all the way in so like you couldn't even see I have hair like I'm going to link the picture somewhere here I'm going to start concealing my eyes I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer High Definition Concealer I usually don't do this but I've recently come to love it Alright, so we're going to start with the eyes first before anything else. I'm going to use a way lighter concealer so that the colors that I'm going to use could pop. It's really really light and when I say light I do mean light it's not I'm not using a white one I'm using a light one but you can definitely use a light one do you see that do you see that do you see how light it is I'm just using it on my eyes so that the colors that I'm going to put under can pop so again with a dry concealer blush ah, with a dry sponge I'm not wetting my sponge I don't usually wet my sponges I'm just going to do that all over my eye and on the other one too we're going to be using this two palettes by Juvia we have the Masquerade Mini and the Nubian by Juvia. You don't really need to have this ones, but they work for the look that I'm going for. So just to set things up, I'm going to take my really small brush and I'm going to use the color Morocco and set my eyebrows first. So give me a pen. No pen. I'm using the color Morocco with um, the color Madagascar on the palette and then I'm just setting this my eyebrow like up so that um, when I start putting the products in like it won't do something crazy so now that the, now that that is done I'm going to go take a bigger fluffy brush and I'm going to go over my eye with the color <coughs> with the color this one Kenya Okay, so I'm going to take the color Kenya and like this brush just takes a little product. I don't know what's wrong with it. Now we're going to go with the color Jezebel. 
this is the color Jezebel. I'm going to go in with the color. Can you see? I hit pan. That's how you know I love this color. I also use it as a blush. It's really good for dark skin, for blush. So I use Jezebel and I'm going to go over my crease like that. And also extend it all the way up. Okay, I'm going on my crease. I'm going ham on my crease. Okay, now that that has been done, I think I should just add a little bit more corners. Why? Lord knows why. Okay, I'm going to put this aside for a while and I'm going to go now to the Masquerade Mini by Juvia and we're going to go in with four colors actually. We're using the color Chai, we're using the color. Dahlia. We're also using the color Makeda and the color Giza. Those are all going in my eye lids. Alright, so I'm thinking I should move you guys in a little bit closer so you guys can see. But um, I'm not really, we're not really doing much. I'm going to use the same brush that I used for my crease and for the transitional color. And I'm going to go in with the color Chai. The purple one so I'll take the color chai and I'm just going to put it on the outer part of my the outer V of my eye so just dab that in dab it dab it I'm not like like um, spreading it I'm just dabbing it in dabbing it in just on the outer V then on the other side Now that it's on the V, just spread it a little bit out and blend it a little bit with the crease color. Okay, just blend it a little bit with the crease color. Then we're going to now go in to the color Makeda. It's this really nice dark blue. Yeah, it's a dark blue. I'm just going to go in with the color Makeda and try and blend it in with the color Chai, with the purple that we have on my eye. So using Makeda here so chai is now serving as a transitional color or a wing color as it's going out but Makeda is going to serve now as the dominating color on my eye so we're going to now drag it all over almost close to the crease like I'm feeling like I should bring you guys a little bit closer so you guys see what I'm talking about I don't know how that feels or if that is actually even focusing. I have no one to help me today. So I'm just going to go in with the color again, Makeda, and just like put it, just dab it and then drag it a little bit, just like that. The other side too, place it, place it and then drag it along my lead, like not my lead, like next to my transitional color. Okay, now that that is done, with the same brush again, I am going to go in with the color Dahlia, which is this nice blue that we have here. I'm going to use the color Dahlia. And now put it at the center of my eye. Now, do you see what transition? And we're going to cut my crease okay I'm going to cut my crease do that okay do that and then look up where it touches is where and how far we're willing to go and cut so like as for this eye it has gone all the way I don't know what's wrong with this one
Okay. And we're going to now, using the other side of my fluffy brush, just a flat tip brush, I'm going to go into the color Giza, which is this really light color. Okay, and now I'll just pat the color on top. Now, I'm going to do my foundation and everything else and then we're going to get back to the eyes because we're doing also the under the eye, okay? We're going to go with the Masquerade Mini and we're going to take the color, I don't know, you miss out the name, you may hit pan, which is the most important part, so you know I like that color. Now, I'm going to go on with a small, tiny brush. It's not tiny, it's a small, fluffy one and we're going to go under the eyes, so... a smoky kind of cut crease a colorful smoky cut crease <laughs> we're going now to go to the color the purple that we used and also under the eye just drag it up we're going to go in with some eyeliner and drag this eye With that done, we're going to go in with um, highlighting my brow bone, then we're going to go in and put lashes. So, taking a fluffy brush, taking the same white color that we used, tapping it, tapping it, and then just putting it on top of the brow bone, just there. Okay, we're going to go in and put some lashes on. As that is drying, we're just going to put the lip gloss on. That is it for the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Jason! Nitya Nira! And I'll see you guys in my next one. If you guys want makeup videos, makeup related videos, just let me know and I'll be here for you. Bye! Ita, 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 see! Ita Nira! I'm in love with it. Hope you guys are in love with it too and would want to wear it because I have taken so many pictures in this one, the last one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment what type of videos you want me to do and styles that you want me to do and makeup things. Whatever you want me to do, just comment the videos that you want me to do and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.